Hi guys and welcome to another video about myself, Bates and 87 Today we are going to discuss EA's massive news, which they did release at 3.30pm UK time early on today. It was the release that now uh, the BPL has all 20 stadiums in there with uh, heads, all the head scans, broadcast graphics, uh, sponsorships of all the official clubs and stuff like that. And goal line technology. Now, we're going to discuss that in a little bit. And also speak about some things that I would like to see implemented into the gameplay as a visual aspect or whether it would actually help the game. So, if you want any, if you guys want the Ultimate Team Coins, make sure you go and check out onefifa.com. Their link is down below. Use a discount code Bateson to get 5% off your Ultimate Team Coins. They're reliable and instant. If you want MSP, PSN codes, cheat game codes as well, make sure you check out G2A.com. Their link's also there. And we're trying to smash over 3,000 likes, guys. That'd be absolutely awesome. So... Even though I'm looking at the pictures now of uh, the, the likes of Mignolet, Aguero and uh, Danny Welbeck, they look good. They look really good. But to be fair, you've got to think of it this from a different point of view. When you're actually playing the game, guys, do you look closely at the faces? Like when you're running around for the 90 minutes of, of the uh, in-game, do you actually look real, that real close to see the faces? Because I know, know to hell I don't. The only way I dis distinguish the players is via the boots and via the, the colour of the player himself. So it may be black, it may be white, and that's how I'll be tell which player I'm actually using. The only time you'll see these graphics really and why it'll make a massive... Well, I don't know how, it's not even a massive impact. Because the only time you are going to see these faces, guys, is when you are getting instant replays and stuff like that. And that's the only time where it probably will look good. But I wouldn't say that's massive news. The other one is goal line technology. Now, goal line technology has been in this game for a very, very long time. It's either a goal or it isn't. We always trust EA. I've never been under the circumstances where I've actually had a goal which uh, goal given which shouldn't have been a goal, etc, etc. And now, with the announcement that they're actually going to have goal line technology in the game, what is it? It's going to be an extra replay. So, in this video today, we're going to be discussing... Uh, 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 well, obviously, we discussed a bit then. But we're going to be discussing more things. One of them being... The things I want taken out of FIFA, and hopefully it happens next year. We don't know if it's coming or not. What the first one is, obviously, uh, I don't know if you guys have actually played. Well, you will have played it. You will have experienced this. The throwing on next gen, when the ball goes out for a throwing, it takes absolutely ages for the player to get the ball if they're winning. If they're losing, they'll get the ball pretty fast. But there's sometimes where it completely messes up. And I, I play in uh, King Fire Stadium, and uh, that stadium's got uh, the advertisement boards quite close to the game. Uh, quite close to the pitch, sorry. And that causes uh, the balls to bounce back onto the pitch. So you've got to wait like fucking five minutes for the player to go and kick the ball out of play from the other side of the pitch. It's a totally pointless feature. And that probably is going to get taken out for the fact that they can add the goal line technology in. Now, this is... It's a nice visual add-on, I suppose. But I'm not complaining. I'm just saying... Like, to make the game run faster, to enjoy the game more, I would rather play it all the time instead of waiting, watching pointless replays um, and things like that. You don't even have the option to turn this off. Now, with the stadiums themselves, when you're playing in the stadiums, you, you majority of you are going to watch the start of the game. You'll probably see a pan over the stadium. You'll watch the end of the game. You'll see a pan off of the stadium itself and all them block cars driving around like, <laughs> like absolute Lego. And... Um, now and then you'll like be able to tell that you're in which stadium because of the pitch size, the advertiser balls and whatnot. But after the first couple of weeks, you'll completely forget about it and it won't be a massive impact. Now, licensing's a big thing within FIFA and that's why it is well ahead of PES currently. And uh, these new features are something I don't like. And with next gen, player names have been removed. I don't like that. I, I would love to see that back in. Um... The, the, the throw-ins, that's a major thing. That really pisses me off. I don't know why it grinds me so much, but the, that would be one I would love to see out of the game. And basically, that's it, guys. I want to know what you would like to see taken out of the game, uh, which things really annoy you in the game currently, uh, what you think of the new features that EA have released today, whether you think it's going to make a massive impact, impact on the game itself, whether it's going to entice you to spend more money on the game, because... Uh, with a few things like that, I don't think it will, not, not a doubt. Like, it, it doesn't look much different. It's not going to look much different. I'm going to have to get some HD 3D glasses or something to enjoy it the most. But th these are like visual features which are not massive. They're not a massive impact into the game. It's not going to change the game as a whole. It's going to look good for a short period of three seconds while you see the camera angles move in and out. But apart from that, it's nothing game-changing. The things we want to see implemented are... 
the stuff which are in the game when you're actually kicking the ball, when you're moving the play around. That's the stuff I love to see and that's the stuff I want to see. And hopefully games come next week will provide us with more information like that. So guys, drop a like rating on the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed and comment down below with your ideas to take out. And the last one I'm going to leave you with is Vanishing Spray. I would love to see the Vanishing Spray added in because of EA boasting about the new pitch, uh, the way the pitch gets worn after the 90 minutes. Uh, when, with the invisible spray, the ref would blow it and you'd still see that a couple of game minutes down the line until it actually disappears. So that's what I'm going to leave you with, guys. Until next time, see you later. Have a very, very nice day. See you now as well. No, I got it. I got it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come here, bitch. Oh, you <laughs> oh, No. 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 Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh my god. Finch, leave this. Finch, leave this. I heard you to my back. Finch, no, don't please leave, leave this. Finch, don't leave please this. leave.